Alright guys, uh, it's time for the 500 subs giveaway. Um, I got all the questions printed out and all the entries are uh, in the hat. Let's see if I can show you that there's some paper in there. And you guys know how it works. We'll do the uh, questions and then we'll do the drawing and then uh, if you're the winner just uh, PM me a message of um, your information where I need to ship it to. So. Anyway, let's get to the questions. Uh, I love doing the questions part. It gives me a chance to interact with you guys and talk to you guys a little bit. So, and I really do appreciate the subs. Um, I never thought I'd get this far in YouTube. I, I started doing YouTube just for fun, and now it's turned into this. So, so first question from one four eight DMC. How long have you had your conceal and carry? Um, I don't know if you're talking about my license or the gun. I've had my concealed carry license for about eight years. I've been concealed carrying regularly for over six years. Um, my carry gun right now is a Springfield XDS in 9mm, and that's currently what I'm wearing right now. Uh, next question is Gernor Car. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, what's your favorite gun and why? Probably my favorite gun is my AR-15. They're just so customizable. There's so many things you can put on them. I mean, there's they're like the Legos of uh, of guns. I mean, you can you can change uppers on them. You can put different calibers, different ammunition. You know, uh, there's so many variables that you can do to an AR. It's just they're they're an awesome platform to work on, and they're just fun. Uh, Ralph Ledesma, one man's opinion. Uh, awesome video. Thanks for sharing. Do you garden? If so, let's. See see if not start one I don't garden my wife actually gardens uh, we have a small little uh, garden outside maybe we'll do a video on that sometime in the near future and uh, she can maybe she'll be in the video and show some gardening techniques that she does but uh, as of right now I don't garden uh, she does all that stuff moving on uh, Ohio Wolverine he's like want to know is a Walter PPQ the finest pistol you've ever shot how would you compare it to a Glock? I really like the PPQ. I was really surprised that for uh, the kind of gun it is, the trigger was phenomenal. I really enjoyed shooting it. Just the stock trigger was awesome. If uh, my security company would let us carry a gun of our choice, I would get the PPQ and actually carry that as a sidearm. I like the Glock 19 a little bit better. It's a little bit more concealable, a little bit smaller. So that's my take on the, uh, the Glock versus the PPQ. Um... <sighs> driver of all uh, wondering if I have any carbines I have a couple of them I have a Ruger 1022 um, I also have a Mosin Nagant uh, it's a 9159 carbine I'm, I have a video of that on, on the channel as well and I have uh, an AR-15 in uh, 223-556 and I have an AR in 9mm as well and those are my carbines also I have the uh, the uh, Uberti 1873 uh, 357 uh, lever gun. So those are the only carbines I have, and they're a lot of fun. You know, uh, short rifles are—they're just uh, fun to shoot. I mean, everybody loves shooting them. So, um, 504 Dirt Dart. <laughs> He's asking, "Is the is the PPQ the finest striker pistol I've ever shot?" So far, yeah, it's been, you know, it's, it's, I really enjoyed shooting it. Like I said, I, it's bigger than the Glock 19, so I'm not going to conceal carry one, but I really did enjoy shooting it and, and being able to try it. Um, it's really good to shoot different guns. Whenever anyone has a different gun and they offer you, offer to let you shoot it, take them up on it. No matter what kind of gun it is, just, you know, go out and shoot guns. I mean, shooting guns is just fun. And the PPQ, I would never discover that if I hadn't just said, okay, I'll try it out. So... Like I said, as a duty pistol, I would definitely carry the PPQ. Um, Chevy 6299. Uh, how are your ARs doing? Any new ones planned? The ARs are doing good. Like I said, I got the 223 and the 9mm. Both work phenomenal. Um, I don't plan on getting any new ones. They both uh, fit a role that I use them in. The 9mm is so cheap and I reload 9mm. And it's just, if you reload 9, that's like a new plinking round, in my opinion. Um, I, I would recommend anyone to get, just go get a 9mm AR, and you'll enjoy it, especially if you reload. I mean, with 22 being so short, um, I don't know how it is in your area. In our area, it's, <laughs> if you if you see it, it's gone. It, it, I mean, that's what, that's what I tell people. If you see, if you see 22, buy it, because if you wait, it, it won't be there. So, uh, 9mm, to me, is the new 22. Uh, moving on, um... 
Mad Maxer 525, 9mm, 40 or 45. What do you think of each caliber is best for? Does doesn't have to be so self defense. Uh, it really depends on what you're doing. I've always liked the 9mm. I like the velocity you can achieve from shooting a 9. Uh, there's a lot of really good uh, ballistics data that will show that 9mm rounds, the self defense rounds are coming out are really good. But for our combat, like during World War II, the 45 would have been a lot better than 9. I mean, that was punching big holes in people. You put really good size holes, and um, it's a slow moving big round, and the 45 auto is a good round. Uh, 40. You know, the 40 I've never really been a big fan of just because the 40 came from the 10 millimeter, and the 10 millimeter, you know, it, the 40 came from that, and to me, it's just, it was created almost by accident. I, I know that's not a good way to describe it, but that's how I feel about the uh, the 40 cal. Like, it was made because the 10 millimeter was uh, too powerful, and there's people who couldn't handle it in the FBI, and so they went to the 40, they just chopped it down instead of admitting the mistake and going back to 9, which they are, I think they are going back to 9. So, like I said, the 40 was like, Oops, <laughs> it's just kind of just short the 10 millimeter cartridge. So, like I said, it's created almost by accident. And those are my takes on those three calibers. But I mean, it, it, no matter what you're carrying, as long as you're carrying something as a proven design, carry it. You know, that's why I tell people I don't get all hung up on what you carry. I carry a nine. I researched it out. I did all my research, watched a lot of videos, a lot of comparisons, a lot of graphs and charts and ballistics data, and I decided to go with the nine. So. I, I tell people to do the same thing. Go and research what you want to carry and carry it. So, uh, let's see. Will Hornbuckle, do you, you have a knife collection as well? I really don't. Um, I have a Leatherman Wave that I use for virtually everything. It's a great thing. I bring it to the range with me. It's always with me. Uh, when I used to do volunteer firefighting, I used to carry that with me as well. So, it's uh, that's about it for my knife collection. I really don't carry knives. Uh, I just carry the Leatherman Wave, and that's a great product, and I recommend get one. If you don't have Leatherman, get one. I like Leatherman over Gerber, so that's just how it is. <laughs> that's my knife collection. Lauren C., how good are you at shooting right-handed? <laughs> this guy, I personally know Lauren. Uh, he's a friend of mine. Uh, I could shoot right-handed if I really had to. Maybe we'll do a video of uh, uh, everybody shooting offhand, and uh, I think that'll be, uh, <laughs> it'll be really funny to watch. Maybe we'll do... We'll get like four or five of us together and we'll shoot offhand and see how we do. But if you know uh, how I do cowboy action shooting, there is a class called Double Duelist or Gunfighter where you do shoot with your uh, your non-strong hand. So I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll try that someday. Uh, Kurt Stahl. I haven't watched many of your videos, but what's your favorite rifle caliber? My favorite rifle caliber. It's funny because it, it's not. I don't even have a rifle that chambers that round. Would be the 300 wind mag. It's actually affordable to shoot. It's a great long distance uh, uh, round. I think it's better than the 308 by far, and it's not as good as the uh, 338, but it's a lot cheaper to reload for uh, recreational use. Uh, I would go with 300 wind mag any day of the week, and I may may get a Savage uh, Model 10, but they don't make them left-handed. Um, I know they make some bolt action guns left-handed, but I want to get you know a bull barrel gun and make it left-handed, get a 300 wind mag, and deck it out, and that might be a project for uh, later on, and uh, if you guys know any other good recommendations for a 300 wind mag uh, rifle that, you know, it's not going to break the bank, let me know, and it's got to be left-handed. Uh, Part-time preppers, what 9mm would you recommend for the 350 to $400 range? I have a few in mind, but want to know what others think. Thanks and congrats on 500 subs. I know other guys will probably chime in, uh, but you know, from 350 to 400, it depends on what you want to use it for. That's one of the first things I will ask somebody when they come up and say, Hey, I want to purchase a pistol. What do you think? I'm like, well, what's this going to be used for? Recreation, self-defense, or both? Um, if it's going to be for self-defense, I would go with the Shield or the XDS. Both can be had for used market under $400 easy. Uh, you can probably get it between 3 and 350 uh, used one. Uh, you can get Glock 19s, maybe a used one. Between four, maybe four fifty, somewhere in there. Uh, it like I said, it just depends on what you want to do. What I would do is start going to your local uh, stores, your gun shops, and start looking and pricing out guns. Find out what you want, and then research what you want, and find out what you're going to primary use it for. Like I said, recreation or self defense or competition, even you know. So it's it depends on what the primary purpose of that gun is going to be used for. Is going to to determine what kind of gun 
is going to be best for you. So, but like that, if it's self defense, XDS shield, recreation, I'd go with like a Glock. You know, you can't go wrong with Glock 19s. You know, or uh, geez, there's even some other guns out there. There's so many guns you can get for under 400 bucks that are used. Even the old uh, Ruger P95s. I mean, that's you know, I know guys who have those for recreation. So, uh. Ammo zombie. Do you enjoy handguns over, over shotguns for home defense, close quarters combat? You know, for, I mean, home defense and close quarter combat, that's two different things. Uh, for home defense, I carry my handgun with me all the time. I mean, I got my XDS on me right now. I carry 24-7. Or, you know, I try to carry 24-7. Obviously, I can't carry when I sleep. But when I go to bed, I have a holster next to the bed that I put the, the, the XDS in. So if something happens, it's right there. I can just grab it and I have it. Um... So like I said, I always carry my XDS with me, so I always have a, I'm always on pretty much 24-7, so. Uh, for close quarters combat, yeah, I think a shotgun's a great, great thing to have, you know, get a pump shotgun uh, for close quarters stuff. I mean, you go with buckshot and you're not really, you know, if you're in a combat situation, sure, you know. But for home defense, I don't know, it's, <sighs> there's so many videos that talk about how birdshot at at a combat or self-defense uh, distances are really effective so just be careful watch for over penetration and things like that even with a pistol you have to watch if you miss you have to watch uh, the round going through walls and stuff like that so that's something to think about too but uh, to answer your question close quarter combat I like with a shotgun for um, home defense I think a pistol is just as good as a shotgun you know as long as you train and practice with it at least more than once a month but it's hard to go to a actual shooting range and practice with your shotgun shooting birdshot. You usually have to go out and go somewhere else because they're not going to let you shoot at their targets with shotgun rounds. Unless you're shooting slugs. But slugs are pretty expensive. Well, that's it, guys. That's it for the questions. Um, then next time we'll do a giveaway at 1,500 subs. Uh, I was thinking about 1,000, but no, we'll do uh, 1,500. And then we'll do another uh, giveaway. If I was able to get a million subs, I would uh, <laughs> I'd give away a gun at a million subs. But, uh... That's a long ways away, but if you guys want to help the channel out, all, you, all I ask is you just share the videos. That's that's all you gotta do. So let's get to the drawing. So all names are in here. I'm gonna go over here, reach up, and make some round. Uh, okay, we got someone. Who won? <laughs> oh crap! Are you serious? That's hilarious. And that was not staged at all. Here, I'll show you this. And that's not the only name in there. So, Lauren, you won, you little asshole. See, that's not, it wasn't rigged or nothing. I know, I know I'm just drawing names out just to show you guys that I didn't rig that. <laughs> that's some of it. Alright, so Lauren, come get your stupid gift. And I'll show you guys what he won, because I know he won't make a video on it. So uh, let me get right back, and I'll uh, show you guys what he won. Okay, since I know Lauren's not going to make a video, this is what he won. It's a uh, buck knife. And I'll show you guys what it is. I was going to keep it a surprise. I like to keep it a surprise so when the viewer gets it, they, uh, they you know, it's a surprise. I don't like to tell people what it is, because then... Uh, if it's something they want, then they'll enter. I just want people to enter because they like the channel. So they're not really expecting to get something. It's just uh, they enter because they like the channel. And then they might win something too. So here's the sheath. And Buck Knives is made over in Idaho. And uh, that's right next door to where, where, where uh, I live. Since I live in Washington, I think that's probably Lauren calling me now. But I'll do this first and I'll call him back. That's why I got the buck knife, because it's made uh, next door. So I wanted to give you guys something that's made in the area. I mean, I think the factory's only like an hour and a half away from where I live. So. Here's the knife. Pretty nice knife, if you ask me. I was, I'm kind of jealous that he's getting this and not me. I'm not even a knife guy. So there it is, and uh, I'll give this to Lauren, and maybe he'll let me do a video with him talking about it or something. So until next time, guys, see you guys at 1,500 subs, and we'll do another Q&A and a surprise giveaway.